So this is a little demonstration of what can be done with Audacity and shows some editing techniques that can be uh, used as well. And I'm just learning a lot of this, so it may not be perfect, but let's give it a try. Uh, first off, I'm going to record some numbers. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Now, the first thing you might notice is we might have some background noise. I don't think you're going to hear this through the tutorial. But there's a lot of background noise, and it's represented by this. I, I deliberately left a second or two of nothing being said. And it creates noise, like any microphone will pick it up. Room noise, light noise, anything that's around. You can get rid of it, and that's the first thing that you might want to do. Using noise removal, I'll get that noise profile of the selected area. And then I will use Control A, and I'll apply that noise removal. I'm cranking this thing up. This is uh, Audacity version 2.02 and it gives you some nice controls over this, but I'm going to go ahead. I could preview it, but I know I'm going to get better results, and it flattens that out. And, and uh, you can go back and play it again and see what the improvement is, but it's considerable. Next thing I want to do is I think I'm going to amplify this because it is down about 8 decibels. I'll amplify it so I've got a clearer signal. looks like this. And again, the imp there's an improvement to the, uh, to the recording. Uh, I'm going to get rid of a little bit of the leading business here. Now this is the thing that was bothering me, is I wanted to move the order of these things around and maybe even the tempo of what's taking place here. And there's a couple of different ways that you can do this. Uh, as a for instance, clicking anywhere in the clip and then using Control i or Clip Boundaries Split allows you to split a clip so that you can start shuffling bits and pieces around a little bit. Another thing that you can do is using the Select tool, Highlight, for instance, this is the, uh, the, num the word 9 or the number 9 and I can go edit clip boundaries and split it and put it into a new track so now if I want to start moving these things around using the move tool I can invert some of this material so that we get a different order to what's taking place here and now I've got 10, 8, 9 Now, if I wanted to do that again, if I, if I want to do that again with some of the other clips, I'll go ahead and do it, and you'll notice that every new clip winds up showing up down at the bottom. There are some shortcuts to this, by the way. Control Alt I will let you um, uh, will let you do this without having to go up to the to the menu. You can grab these tracks and you can move them around. To heck with it. Uh, the last thing I wanted to to kind of get into is if I wanted to to speed some of these things up, I'm going to do a Control E to zoom in. And I can select With and delete. Lovely. I can zoom Alex back Benum with a Control F. Office, the office, and if I were to do this again, I wonder if I can undo this for a second. I'm going to grab another one of these things. What, what sound is this? That's uh, six. Okay. I'm going to do Control Alt I, split it, and you'll notice that that new clip is way down at the bottom. If I want to see all of these things again, Control F fills things or horizontally, but Control Shift F fills uh, fills things up and spaces things properly uh, vertically. And you can always take any of these clips and you can shrink them like this too, just to get your workflow down. So now I've got all these individual clips. I might want to get rid of this little bit of garbage, and when you do, things start sh shuffling. But with them all on their separate clips, things start to work out a little bit better. And I might even want to really speed things up by putting these things on their own layers. I'll try this. Control Alt I. I'm going to move this up just so it's proximate to what I got going on up there. And if I wanted this to thing to read like I was reading a uh, a telephone number, that's interesting. Huh. Wow, really weird. I could see get rid of a little bit of this. I'm going to put a little bit of overlap to this. And I think you probably heard this on some telephone. Uh, automation. Draw one like this. And it does kind of line you up a little bit for this stuff. But I'm going to try to really cram this thing together. See how it goes. There you get it. So that gives you an idea of what you can do with this program and how to edit. And, and I'm only just learning this stuff, but uh, it was helpful to go through an exercise like that.